The Johnson's Wax Program, starring the King's Men. With our special guest for tonight, Johnny Mercer. The makers of Johnson's Wax for home, industry, and agriculture bring you America's greatest vocal foursome, Ken Darby and the King's Men. With music by Elliot Daniel and the orchestra, and Ken Darby's celebrated guest for tonight, America's outstanding song stylist, Johnny Mercer. And speaking of songs, here are the stars of our show. Four brilliant young men who can polish off a song as brightly as a glow-coated floor. The one beaming your way is your host, Ken Darby. Thank you, Ken Miles, for that cosmic introduction. Sounds like you took the words right out of Harlow Wilcox's mouth. By the way, have you heard from Harlow? Well, just the usual postcard saying the weather is fine where he is. He has nothing on us because the Kingsman and I are here to report that it's a good day. All your cares away for one day because it's a good day. All day. Yes, it's a good day for singing a song, and it's a good day for moving along. Yes, it's a good day. How could anything go wrong? A good day from morning till night. Yes, it's a good day for shining your shoes, and it's a good day for losing the blues. Everything to gain and nothing to lose, cause it's a good day from morning till night. I said to the sun, good morning, sun, bright and shining day. You know you got to get going if you want to make a show, and, and you know you got the right of way. Because it's a good day for paying your bills, and it's a good day for curing your ills. So take a deep breath and throw away your pills, because it's a good day from morning to night. Now it's a bad day for a gloomy gust, and it's a bad day for a frown. I said it's a sad day for a sour puss, cause this day we're running out of time. It's a good day for paying your bills, and it's a good day for curing your ills. So take a deep breath and throw away your pills, cause it's a good day from morning till Hey, this seems reasonable, Ken, and what could be more logical than a good day being followed by a moonlit night? Especially if it's a harvest moon shining down on me and my gal. Oh, yeah, shine on harvest moon. Seems to me my parents told me that uh, that was a hit in the 1920s when a girl named Ruth Edding introduced it. Well, son, as a matter of fact, Ruth Edding only revived it. Long before that, a girl named Nora Bays made Shine on Harvest Moon as famous as a honeymoon at Niagara Falls. Elliot, will you pitch in and help us with the harvest? Oh, 
July, you know that's no time. Ain't no time to stay outdoors and soon. So shine on, shine on, harvest moon for me and my gal. Shine for me and my gal. Thank you very much. You know, ladies and gentlemen, back in the early 1930s, the King's Men were just a struggling quartet which finally landed a job with Paul Whiteman and his orchestra. Working with us was a young man who has since become one of the greatest songwriters of all times. It's a genuine pleasure to work with him again. Our guest, Johnny Mercer. Johnny, welcome to the Johnson's Wax Program. It's a far cry from our first job together, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Whiteman used to wax his mustache. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, those were the good old days. Remember, no income tax? No income. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe we didn't make much money, but I'll never forget the thrill of being in New York the first time and singing at the Biltmore Hotel. I never could figure that out. Working in a hotel and sleeping in Central Park. <laughs> Uh, but that didn't last long for you, Johnny. Those first songs you wrote were pretty big hits. What was the first one? Oh, you mean, uh, pardon my southern accent, pardon my southern draw. It may sound funny, ah, oh, but honey, I love y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. How about the one you wrote with, uh, you should pardon the expression, Hugo Carmichael? <laughs> Lazy bones sitting in the sun. How you expect to get your day's work done? You never get your day's work done. Sitting in the evening sun. I'll never forget the first time we sang that. We had on jazz bow ties and loud striped blazers. Yeah, I'll say they were loud. I guess Ken Niles would have called them glow coats. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I guess he would. Say, how about one of the hits you wrote with Harry Warren? You must have been a beautiful baby. You must have been a wonderful child. When you were only starting to go to kindergarten, I'll bet you drove the little boys wild. Well, I wish you could sing the rest of it. Those were great rhythm songs, Johnny. But you really showed your versatility when you turned out the wonderful lyrics of Laura. Sing it for us, won't oh, you? Oh, Ken, look, I only wrote it. I can't sing it. But maybe if the King's Men will help me out. You just say when, Johnny. Laura is the face in the misty light. You're doing fine, lad. Continue. Footsteps that you hear down the hall. Gentlemen, help, please. A light that floats on a star.
Ken, if you don't mind, I'd like to do a song I didn't write. It's from the Walt Disney picture, The Legend of I- Ichabod Crane. Incidentally, Ken, didn't I see your name kicking around on the credit titles? Yeah, Johnny, I, I had a lot of fun making the vocal arrangements for Bing. But right now, we're anxious for your version of Ichabod Crane. He has feet like shovels, walks like a crane, no sticks out like a weather vane, lean and lanky and skin and bone, clothes a scarecrow would like to own. That's Ichabod, our old boy, Ichabod, that hobbledy hoy. Who's his own best pride and joy? Ichabod, Ichabod Crane. Who's the town's ladies' man? Gets around like nobody can. Has to be none other than Ichabod, Ichabod Crane. Dressed up with his finery pressed up. He goes strolling in his patched up pants and his ragged tail. You'd think he was the Prince of Wales. Ichabod, that's his name. Ask him and he'll tell you the same. Funny man and funny name. Ichabod, Ichabod Crane. Dressed up with his finery pressed up He goes strolling in his patched up pants and his ragged tail You'd think he was the Prince of Wales Ichabod, that's his name Ask him and he'll tell you the same Funny man and funny name Ichabod very odd. Ichabod, Ichabod Crane. Fine homemakers tell me that one thing of real importance to a woman's pride is kitchen linoleum that really shines. Because they say shine on linoleum is like one of those little touches of personal grooming. It's something others notice and something the fastidious homemaker insists on having. And that, we believe, is the big reason why Johnson's new glow coat is so popular. Why it's used in more than twice as many homes as any other floor polish. For the easiest way to get the brightest polish you ever saw is to cover your linoleum with this new self-polishing floor wax. And it is absolutely self-polishing. You just spread it on, let it dry, watch it shine. The new glow coat spreads more easily now, dries more evenly, lasts longer. And the shine you get with glow coat is almost twice as bright as before. Yes, for the brightest polish you ever saw on your linoleum, ask your dealer for Johnson's new glow coat, GLO. C-O-A-T. Aha, an oriental atmosphere. What are we going to do, Ken? Visit the temples and pagodas of the Far East? Oh, Mr. Niles, the King's men and I are going to take you on a little sightseeing tour. Our first stop will be Chinatown. Elliot, your chopsticks, please. When the town is fast asleep uh, When Hong Kong is sleeping And it's midnight in the sky Way up high That's the time the fest in China for China for hoi 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 Starts to wink his other eye Hong Kong Dreamy, dreamy 
Chinatown, Chinatown. Palmer lies of brown. Hearts seem light and lights seem bright in dreamy Chinatown. You know, Ken, this next number intrigues me. Poinciana. I suppose you know that the Poinciana is a flowering tree that grows in the South Sea Islands. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has a very interesting foliage. And being somewhat of a horticulturist Thank myself... Thank you, Professor very... Niles, for telling us all about the Poinciana. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure the audience is far more interested in Elliot Daniels' musical description. Elliot, you may tear Poinciana limb from limb. <laughs> This year, the great state of California is celebrating the 100th anniversary of its historic gold rush, when the roaring mining camps of the Mother Lode echoed the sound of picks and shovels by day and the songs of the 49ers by night. Among the favorite girls they sang about, none was more popular than my darling Clementine. In the cavern, in the canyon, excavating for the mine. Well, the miner, 49er, and his daughter, Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine. 
You were lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. She was light and like a fairy, and her boots were number nine. Packing cases strung with laces were the shoes for Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine. You were lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. Driving little ducks to water by the steep old clock was striking nine. When she caught her foot and stumbled on the root and tumbled down into the brine. Oh, 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 my darling, oh, my pretty little darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine, Clementine. You are lost and gone forever. Dreadful sorry Clementine. Fred Whiting and Buddy Cole for your accompaniment. And now here's Ken Niles. You know, in many things, best results come only from hard work. But that's certainly not true of the shine you get on your linoleum when you use Johnson's new glow coat. No, for the new glow coat, it's easier to use than ever. Gives you a shine that glorifies your whole kitchen. Covers your linoleum with a hard protective coating that makes cleaning far easier. You get that brilliant shine without one lick of polishing. For Glow Coat polishes itself as it dries. And the shine you get without polishing is now almost twice as bright as even Glow Coat gave before. Try Johnson's new Glow Coat. G-L-O-C-O-A-T. It's at your dealers in the familiar yellow container with the bright red band. Hey, what, what's that trumpet complaining about? There it goes again. That's no complaint, and it's no trumpet. What? That's really a fanfare for a command performance. Johnny Mercer, the King's Men hereby command you to do your own all-time favorite, Blues in the Night. Well, will you just get aboard that train from Memphis to St. Joe with me? Will we, Gate? Just try and keep us off. Elliot's ready to open throttle now. Memphis, St. Joe, Natchez, Mobile, all aboard. Oh. My mama done told me yeah. when I was in knee pants. Oh. My mama done told me what? Uh, a woman will sweet talk and she'll give you the big eye. But when the sweet talking's done, a woman's a two-faced, a worrisome thing who'll leave you to sing the blues in the night. Now the rain is falling, 
Ken Darby for a final word. Ladies and gentlemen, we are most grateful to Johnny Mercer for this reunion tonight. I enjoyed every minute of it, Ken. Needless to say, we'll be waiting for some more of your hit tunes, Johnny. Thanks. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Thanks also to the other King's men, Bud Lynn, Rad Robinson, and John Dodson, and Elliot Daniel and the orchestra. And our special thanks to all of you for listening. Say, Ken, before uh, everything's wrapped up, have you a little something for next week? Yes, sir. King's men are going to put special emphasis on an arrangement of Dance Macabre. Elliot Daniel and the orchestra will do How High the Moon, <laughs> and our guest will be that lovely lady who has thrilled audiences of the Metropolitan Opera, as well as over the networks, Miss Dorothy Kirsten. This is Ken Darby, hoping you'll be with us again next week. Good night. <laughs> This is Ken Niles, speaking for the makers of Johnson's Wax for home, industry, and agriculture, wishing you good night and a shining future. Safer night driving. That's the reason the rear vision mirror of every car should be equipped with a safety glare shield to prevent rear vision blindness at night. And that's why you should know about the big combination offer your car new dealer is making right now. Listen. This plastic safety glare shield is advertised at 79 cents. Johnson's Car New sells regularly at 69 cents. That adds up to $1.48. But you can get both from your Car New dealer now for only 88 cents. That's 60 cents less than you'd have to pay to buy each separately. The glare shield fits any mirror, flips up when not in use, gives perfect rear vision at night without rear vision glare. And Johnson's Car New gives your car that showroom shine in just two simple operations. Rub it on, rub it off. Get both the Glare Shield and the Car New for only 88 cents. Tomorrow at your filling station or Car New dealers. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.